Greetings and welcome to this briefing, which aims to examine the specifications, additions, and upgrades of the 2024 Wrangler Jeep. Let's proceed. The 2024 Alfa Romeo Stelvio is a luxurious crossover SUV that has aged well, according to our test drive. The Stelvio's design has endured for six years, despite its age, and its front seats are among the most comfortable of any small crossover available today. This crossover excels in driving dynamics, but its outdated infotainment system is offset by its lack of technology. Before making its public appearance on February 12, the updated Aston Martin Vantage resumed its strip tease campaign. A picture of the vehicle with its updated mirror housings, flared rear fenders, and strong character lines hinted at a more muscular Aston. For the first time, Jeep offered the two-door Wrangler with a 35-inch tire option. The Extreme 35 tire package, which was formerly limited to the four-door Wrangler, is now part of the portfolio. Only Rubicon and Willys models, which come with a 2.0-liter turbo four engine, will get the larger tire option. These and other items can be found in the automotive news of today at Motor Authority. Initially, on Wednesday, Stellantis unveiled the Extreme 35 tire package, which equips 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and Willys two-door cars with 2.0-liter turbocharged inline four engine with these larger tires that were previously exclusive to four-door Wrangler models. For two-door variants, Jeep does not provide the Ford C plug-in hybrid powertrain, nor is it available with the 3.6-liter V6 engine. The 17-inch beadlock capable wheels are fitted with BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires. Together with a 4.56 to 1 axle ratio, a stronger tailboard mount for the spare tire, and a 1.5-inch raised kit with carefully adjusted shocks are also included in the package. The Extreme Recon package by Jeep adds 35s to four-door Wrangler Willys, Rubicon, and Rubicon 392 vehicles along with other enhancements. Based on Jeep specifications, the 35s offer 12.6 inches of ground clearance with approach, breakover, and departure angles of 47.2 degrees, 32.4 degrees, and 40.4 degrees respectively. Additionally, the car maker says it can cross water up to 34.0 inches deep. For Wrangler Willys and Rubicon two-door vehicles with the Turbo 4 engine, which start at $41,985 and $49,285 respectively, with a mandatory $1,895 destination charge, the Extreme 35 tire package is an optional $4,495 package. If the 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X two-door is powered by a turbo four engine, the equipment comes standard. With delivery, the Rubicon X has a starting price of $64,190. Customers can now order the Extreme 35 tire package with their Wrangler Rubicon two-door. Willys models will be able to order the package later in the quarter. At Jeep's Toledo, Ohio facility, production of Wrangler two-door versions with 35s is set to begin in March. Before we go any further though, would you kindly support this channel by subscribing to it, allowing you two to learn about your preferences and enabling you to receive new video updates as soon as they are posted. I'm grateful. Now let's move forward. In 2024, Jeep's classic 4S4 receives a facelift that includes a new grille design, a renovated interior and new teeth. The 2024 Jeep Wrangler gets a makeover that includes a redesigned interior and a revised 7-slot grille. A brand new 12.3-inch center touchscreen featuring standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is included with every 24 Wrangler. The new Ford C Sport on the low end and the new Rubicon X on the top end add to the Wrangler Ford C portfolio. This article has been modified to accurately reflect that Due to a mistake in Jeep's press release, the six-speed manual gearbox is only compatible with the V6 engine option, not the turbocharged i4. We've since corrected this item to reflect the confirmation of the error provided by a Jeep representative to car and driver. The Jeep Wrangler has been a mainstay in the American off-road vehicle industry for several decades now. With minor adjustments made throughout time, 
The Wrangler keeps chugging along according to the same basic formula. Jeep updates the grill and modifies the inside technologies of the Wrangler for the 2024 model year. A cursory look at the updated front end reveals precisely what one would anticipate. The same wide nose Wrangler face to which we have all become used over the years. With closer inspection, you can notice that the mesh behind each of the grill slots has opened up and each slot is now more distinct. Instead of remaining flat beneath each headlamp, the bodywork has been rebuilt and integrated into the mesh backing. Given that customers can now decide to add a factory-backed worn winch with an 8,000-pound capacity, the 2024 Rubicon versions would appear even more distinctive. The biggest interior modification is that Jeep replaced the previous infotainment system with a new, standard 12.3-inch center touchscreen that runs Uconnect 5 software, replacing the earlier alternatives. It also has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with standard Wi-Fi capabilities. With the opportunity to subscribe for access to over 3,000 trail guides, Jeep's 62 badge of honor routes may be accessed through the Routes of Road program, which is seamlessly integrated into the center screen. The instrument panel is now wrapped in soft touch materials with contrast stitching, completing the little interior modifications. The power box, which Jeep refers to as an additional power supply device with four 120 volt outlets providing 30 amps of total output, is a new addition to the Forexy series. If you require access to additional power for an extended period of time, the power box can operate autonomously or in hybrid mode using the SUV's engine. Additionally, for 2024, Jeep is introducing two new models to its inventory of Forexy vehicles. The new base model is the Sport S 4C, which offers buyers a less expensive plug-in hybrid variant while still reflecting the styling of the gas-powered Sport grade. With added interior amenities and off-roading capabilities, the new Rubicon X sits just above the base Rubicon trim and joins the 4C and gas fed lines. Regarding off-road goods, the Rubicon now has a full float Dana rear axle, which makes installing bigger off-road tires simpler. A RockTrack full-time transfer case, steel bumpers, an integrated off-road camera, and 35-inch BF Goodrich a slash T tires set on beadlock capable wheels are added to the previously mentioned Rubicon X steel rock rails, a locking rear differential, and 33-inch tires are standard equipment on the Willis trim. A select track full-time transfer case with a four-low ratio of 2.72 to one is also included with the Forks Willys. There are no notable changes to the powertrain. The four engine options available for the 24 Wrangler lineup remain the same. Selecting the 2.0 liter inline four results in less horsepower, but greater torque. Keeping with the standard V6 gets you 285 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. The 3.6-liter petrol engine may be equipped with either a 6-speed manual or the same 8-speed automatic gearbox, but the inline 4, 4C, and 392 powertrains are only available with an 8-speed auto. A few of the Wrangler's standard safety features were additionally enhanced by Jeep. All trim levels now come equipped with standard first and second row side curtain airbags. On Sport S and higher models, Adaptive cruise control and forward collision warning are now standard features. All bar the base sport come with parking assistance and blind spot monitoring. Although official pricing has not yet been disclosed by Jeep, we anticipate that the 2024 Wrangler will cost somewhat more than the current model, most likely starting at $35,000. Following a brief internship as a detailer at a nearby dealership group while in college, he made the decision to pursue a career in auto writing because he realized he needed a more long-term solution to drive all the new vehicles he couldn't buy. He was able to travel throughout Wisconsin in search of auto industry tales by persistently pestering his professors at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. This allowed him to eventually land his dream job at Car and Driver. His new mission is to postpone his 2010 Volkswagen Golf's inevitable demise. The primary guideline for selecting a renowned model? Don't ever leave your icon alone. Stellantis is taking care to ensure that, in the interim, it does not disregard industry veterans with traditional combustion engines as it carries out its plan to convert all 14 brands' vehicles to electric power. 
Maintaining the Jeep Wrangler's appeal for its devoted following and the impression it makes on the other Jeep models must therefore be top priority. And it seems to be the case. The Jeep team updated the 2024 Wrangler's midcycle and added two new trim levels, all of which aim to improve the fourth generation off-road vehicle's daily driving comfort and add additional technological and safety features. Head of Jeep Brand North America, Jim Morrison, said the changes in new vehicles are not a reaction to Ford Bronco competition. He notes that competition is healthy and has probably helped to the current all-time high demand for Jeep. But given the more refined Bronco's arrival on the scene, it's difficult not to read a little too much into the tweaks meant to make the Wrangler more livable. This is still the same entry-level JL Generation Wrangler that made its debut in 2019 and took home the SUV of the year title from Motor Trend. That SUV's bodywork remains the same for 2024, but Jeep gives it a fresh look with a 7-slat front grille that was first seen on the 2023 Wrangler Rubicon 20th Anniversary Edition. Since the blacked-out slats are thinner, the hardcore Rubicon model's factory-installed 8,000-pound worn winch, which is housed in the steel front bumper, fits more easily. Two towel hooks are located in the front, and one is located in the back. All four of the present powertrains are retained. Clients may still go for the 2.0-liter turbocharged i4 with 270 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. The 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet 3.6-liter V6, the 470 horsepower, and 470 pound-feet 6.4-liter Hemi V8, or the Wrangler Forex e plug-in hybrid, which combines an electric motor and 2.0-liter turbocharged i4 to produce 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. The hybrid's efficiency is increased to 49 MEPKI, and it can cover 21 miles on electricity alone. The performance remains the same, although there may be a marginal improvement in fuel economy. EPA ratings are still pending. Customers who purchase the Fork C now have the option to upgrade to a new power box, which has four 120-volt household-style plugs and a total output of 30 amps. This power box can be used to power minor electronics in your home, such as a coffee maker, during a power outage. Jeep's decision to swap out the semi-float Bena 44 rear axle for a new, heavy-duty, full-float solid Bena 44 rear axle is a significant improvement that will delight Rubicon purchasers. The redesigned unit increases towing capability and allows for the installation of larger wheels and tires. Heavy-duty commercial trucks typically have full-float axles because of their design, which transfers the vehicle's weight to the axle too, rather than the axle shaft. This increases the towing capacity of Rubicon 2.0 liter and 3.6 liter models with 8-speed automatic transmissions to 5,000 pounds. That camper may now be hauled to the trailhead. Jeep still offers 34-inch water fording, a crawl ratio of up to 100 to 1, and 4.4 WD systems. Among the approximately 85 safety features, side curtain airbags are now standard. Additionally, 10 new wheel designs, ranging in size from 17 to 20 inches, have been introduced. The 2024 collection will include tires ranging in size from 32 inches to 35s. The new Willys trim level now has a standard rear locker, increased ground clearance, and rides on 33-inch BFGs. An additional interesting modification is that the radio antenna is now part of the windscreen. This means that antennae won't get tangled in trees or destroyed by automatic car washes after a demanding day of hiking. Inside, there are a lot more upgrades. On the passenger side, an integrated grab grip has been installed and the instrument panel is now hand-wrapped. Jeep replaced the center vents with a single slender vent whereas the Wrangler retains its circular air vents on the dashboard's outboard places. This allowed the new Uconnect system, which has a considerably larger 12.3-inch infotainment screen that is standard across the lineup, to take up much-needed real estate. The screen is the biggest to ever grace a Wrangler, and its full LED backlighting improves glare reduction and produces sharper color graphics. A 7.0-inch digital gauge cluster screen is also included. 
The Uconnect 5 software from Stellantis, which debuted in the Grand Wagoneer and Grand Cherokee before making its way into the Wrangler, is used by the new display. Better maps that are easier to see on a wider screen are among the ongoing improvements. Jeep and Trails Off-Road have teamed up to preload maps of 62 Badge of Honor routes. However, these maps won't be available until later in the model year. A collection of more than 3,000 rated trails can be accessed with a subscription. Adventurers can save waypoints to create custom trails. And in addition to waypoints, historical information and interesting facts about the locales are provided. Five user profiles can be managed using Uconnect 5, which also offers faster access to model-specific features and pages. The 4XZ's e-hybrid pages provide driving history, charge schedule, and power flow. Off-road pages include camera views, pitch and roll, and vehicle dynamics, among other things. Jeep has installed more speakers, microphones, and sound dampening because it can be nearly impossible to make a phone call in a Wrangler with the doors and roof off. Doing the same feat with the doors and roof on isn't much better. Executives claim that with the aid of sound deadening foam, thicker carpeting, and acoustic glass, it will be possible to make a phone conversation to your mother while operating a Wrangler at 70 miles per hour. You may now eliminate the cord by using wireless Apple CarPlay in Android Auto, and a new accessory rail installed on the dash allows you to mount a phone or other gadgets. Although the body on-frame Wrangler isn't typically seen of as being comfortable, the top versions of the SUV will come equipped with 12-way power adjustable front seats starting in 2024, and yes, those seats are waterproof when the seat and its components are submerged in water. The new trims include Rubicon X, which is closer to the more expensive end of the Forexy spectrum, and Sports Forexy, which is more cheap. Morrison claims that the Sports was created in response to customer demand for a less expensive Sport Forexy variant. With its two electric motors and 400 volt battery pack, the Wrangler Forexy is already the best selling plug in hybrid vehicle, PHEV, in America. This offers a more cost-effective option for individuals seeking 49 neck and 21 miles of pure electric range. Now, 4XZ accounts for about 25% of Wrangler sales. Even while Jeep execs haven't said when we may anticipate a Wrangler that runs entirely on electricity, the Jeep Magneto concept is continuously being updated, so there's hope. The fully equipped Rubicon X features steel bumpers, B-block capable wheels, 35-inch tires, an integrated off-road camera to help you better view the unpredictable trail ahead, and a full-time transfer case. The basic Rubicon has a part-time transfer case. It comes with forks, powertains, and petrol. For those keeping track, the Sport, Willys, Sahara, High Altitude, Rubicon, and Rubicon 392 models currently come in trim levels that these new ones join. Later this year, American dealerships will begin receiving the 2024 vehicles from Jeep, which has already opened its order books. Although the price has not been disclosed, it is not anticipated to rise significantly from the present lineup. Worldwide sales of the Wrangler are also planned. We hope this briefing was able to provide you with some relevant information. And with that, we wrap things up for the time being. We appreciate you viewing. See you in the next video.